Good morning and welcome back to Ingenuity. This week we're going to be cutting the floor and building the frame out on the CRX. You know the deal. Got a lot to do in a short time to do it. Let's get to it. So I can't figure out if I want to cut the floor of the car first or cut the metal and build the frame first. I guess it would make more sense to cut the car first. Right? I know where our lines are. I don't know. Hey, yeah, screw it. Let's cut the car first, see what happens. I guess there's no going back now, huh? We kind of done did the thing. Um, I'm actually really glad we did um, because there's actually a lot of rot on this side that I, again, just like what happened over here where the inner structures with rotting the outers, outer shells are somewhat okay. This side seemed perfectly clean until I started cutting into that corner and it's just vomiting uh, rust. So it, the inner structure up here is completely rotted through as well. So um, all in all, still looks, <laughs> still a good decision. Um, hate doing it, but uh, you know, I'd much rather would have had. I would have much rather preferred the car be structurally sound, and we can augment that with supporting it to, you know, support the engine in the rear, um, rather than do this. But it is what it is, man. So. I have to say, save them, don't scrap them. So uh, we're gonna keep rolling here, and uh, um, I'm gonna start cleaning these inside edges up, and then we're gonna start boxing this in, and we should hopefully have a structure here pretty soon. So got the frame done, got the car jacked up, so now I just need to fab up some plate sections for the for the frame to actually mount to and uh, it should be ready. So yeah, something like that. <laughs> Let's go. Click flip to this side, make sure it's still 
works. I mean, it should. Oh, you never know. Identical. Identical. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. Now we have our shape. I'm gonna cut them up and uh, be on our way. Okay, so as I suspected, <clears throat> um, we're going to have to cut this back. Um, this is going to sit right here, and while this doesn't necessarily interfere with that too much, um, when we try to put the rail up here, um, the fact that this bows outwards, um, which it kind of does from the fact that it, it slants out like this, um, I did bash it in a little bit, try to get some clearance, but it's just not enough. <clears throat> so we're going to be cutting this back um, as well, probably around here. Um, to try to <clears throat> clearance this, so this, so the uh, so the the rails fit. Um, and once that's cleaned back, clean this edge up down here, and then uh, and dip is gonna go like that. So the frames welded in. We got the we got the tubes welded to the 14 gauge plates that we welded to the body of the car. Um, I jacked up the rear and lifted it off the jack stands, and I have the jack stands underneath the frame, and the car is actually resting on the frame now. It hasn't collapsed. I'm still in it, obviously. Um, so here's a look at everything. Here's the frame. It goes across the front, and then. So, not terribly unlike Bruce, <laughs> um, we're now back to the point where we theoretically started, um, when we're going to start engineering the rear uh, frame rails that the engine is actually going to sit on. So, some unexpected rust, and actually during this process, I found even more on uh, this back corner here, so we'll have to address that. Um, overall theory of, of how I'm going to kind of do this is... Now that this is done, I'm going to reinforce this rear section um, with some tubing until um, we can get the main hoop done. Once the main hoop's done, we're going to tie that into the B pillars, and then everything else is basically just going to be uh, custom uh, sheet metal work. All right, and on that note, I'm going to close this one out. It's been a productive day, um, so I feel good about that. I'm going to call it a night, and uh, just remember, stuff like this happens. Sometimes you just need a little ingenuity. So, I will see you next time.